In this video, you'll learn how to use Particle Workbench to perform local firmware compilation, as well as how to flash firmware binaries to a USB connected device. In addition, you'll learn how Particle Workbench unobtrusively manages a local compiler toolchain in a way that's guaranteed not to conflict with any other toolchains installed on your machine. If you'd like to follow along with this video, you'll need any particle device like a photon, electron, argon, or boron, and a USB cable connected to a computer. In a previous video, I shared how Particle OTA enables you to get started programming a new particle device in minutes, code in a browser, compile, and flash without having to install any local tools. It's a seamless process for getting started, but not your only option when it comes to programming particle devices. With Particle Workbench, you can perform OTA, compile, and flash just as with the Web IDE, but Workbench also supports local compile and flash so you can perform builds on your machine and flash firmware over USB. To prevent collisions with other devices you may be working with, Particle Workbench installs compilation toolchains in a local, particle-specific folder. This approach also allows you to install multiple versions for the Particle Device OS without fear of one version stepping on another. Let's take a look at local compile and flash with Particle Workbench. I'll start by opening the command palette using the command or control plus shift plus P keys and selecting the create new project option. Once the project is open, I'll open the command palette again and select the configure project for device option. At this point, Particle Workbench will ask for three things. First is the version of the Particle Device OS I want to target. Every supported version of the Particle Device OS is included in this list. When you select a version, it will be installed in a local directory in your user account if it hasn't been installed already. Alternatively, you can install any local compiler toolchain using the Install Local Compiler Toolchain option in the command palette. Once I've specified a device OS version, I'll select the type of device I wish to target and the name or ID of my device. Once those options are set, you're ready to locally program your device. As you're writing firmware, you can perform local builds using the Compile Application Local option in the command palette. A task window will open as the compile takes place, and you'll see errors if your code has any issues. If everything builds fine, you'll see a message showing you the size of your binary, and a target directory will be created in your project with all of the build artifacts. Once you're ready to flash, select the Flash Application Local option. First, Workbench will put your device into Device Firmware Update, or DFU mode, at which point the RGB LED will start flashing yellow. Then, Workbench will compile a firmware binary and transfer it to your device over USB. Once complete, the device will reboot, reconnect, and start running your firmware. If you want to flash both your user firmware and the Particle Device OS, select the Flash Application and Device OS local option. This will follow the same steps as above, but will build two binaries and flash those to your device. Finally, since Particle Workbench installs a complete toolchain for each device OS version you're working with, and these can be quite large, you'll want to uninstall versions when you no longer need them. Simply open the command palette, select the Uninstall Local Compiler Toolchain option, and select the toolchain you no longer need. Workbench will remove that version and let you know when it's finished. Of course, if you ever need that toolchain again, you can just reinstall it using the Install Local Compiler Toolchain option. Congratulations! You're ready to compile and flash your particle projects with Workbench. To learn more, head over to docs.particle.io. Happy hacking!